you're in a relationship, have you ever heard the statement from your partner, this is just who I am, as if you have to just deal with who they are? If so, stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Diana Palm, your love attraction specialist, and I've helped thousands of individuals to heal their heart, raise their love vibration, and attract their highest potential soulmate. And now it's your turn. Many of my clients actually evolve as humans. They learn and they grow all throughout their life. And they're very interested in healing the things in their past so that they can become the best versions of themselves. So one of the things that they tell me, it's often so frustrating because they have a partner in their life who will literally say, this is just who I am. This is who I am. Love me this way. As if they never plan to evolve, change, or grow throughout this life. And this is why I wanted to make this video. If somebody is telling you that, if they're telling you this is just who I am, and you're still hoping they'll change and be a better version of themselves, please just stop. They do not intend to grow. They do not intend to evolve, change, or improve themselves. If somebody is in that energy, they are literally making excuses for bad behavior, blaming it on their childhood, or their unwillingness to take accountability for how they're showing up in relationship or in the world in general. Give me a heart below down in the comments if you have actually heard this from a partner in the past that they just refuse to change, that they want you to just love them with all their flaws in place without taking responsibility. And let me know what you did. Did you stay in that relationship or did you release yourself from that old stale energy and find someone that would grow with you. If you have had a partner that says that to you, basically right now you can just say, thank you for saving me from the misery of sharing a life with you and always hoping and wanting and desiring us to come together in a better, more healed, more productive, happy manner. While there is something to be said about learning to love your partner unconditionally, there should actually be a desire for them to grow with you and to stay in alignment with you as a couple. And that means that both partners are showing up, taking full responsibility for what they have been through in their life and have taken accountability to heal and change from what they have experienced. If they have had traumatic childhoods, if they have had bad relationships in the past, they have taken the time to address what they have gone through, what they have learned from these experiences, and what to take with them as they grow into the future and into the better, more perfect version of themselves. We are always, always being chiseled away at through our life experiences. And if we stay with who we were 20 years ago, we have not allowed ourselves to become a work in progress. And that's what life is. Life teaches us how to be a work in progress. We are always improving upon ourselves if we're learning our lessons. So if somebody flat out tells you, this is just who I am, deal with it, baby. I'm not changing. Then see you later. Thank you for saving me a life of misery in thinking that you would be a good partner for me. And if you're one of those people and you're still using that as an excuse, please just stop. Back in the 80s, Oprah did a lot of talk shows about changing the cycle, changing the cycle of your family dynamics, changing the cycle of abuse, alcoholism, whatever family group consciousness paradigm that you came from. And I remember as a young woman watching those shows and being highly impacted by it. And it had a tremendous impact on the work that I do with my healing and my clients. So I've always taken that work and moved it into the area of how I work with clientele and ending cycles, ending thought patterns, ending programs that you have been given. Everybody has dealt with difficulties in their childhoods and all throughout their life, but it is not meant to burden you and hold you down or to make excuses for why you're showing up unhealed. It is actually supposed to teach you lessons so that you can evolve into a better, more well-rounded version of yourself. This is where you achieve more accountability, where you mature emotionally, spiritually, and energetically, where you can literally look at the things in your life instead of seeing them as traumatic, seeing them as life lessons. Now we know so much more about group consciousness behavior, subconscious programs and patterns, and we know that we are actually 
created with all these things in place. And as we move through life, we accumulate more and more. In fact, however we're programmed, we typically attract more of the same to us. And that can make it seem like no matter what you do, you can't change because it's actually being programmed from you. Your own unhealed issues in your subconscious mind are projected out and creating new realities based on your past. The time to stop is now. If you want more love, more fulfillment, more happiness, and more radiant health. Stop making excuses. Take responsibility for your life. Review your past. See how you're showing up in relationships and heal the areas of your life that are holding you back or causing conflict with your partner or mate. It is all up to you. And yes, you do have the power to change this. It's about changing your mindset through reprogramming of your subconscious and allowing you to be a co-creator in your life, allowing you to show up in your fullest, highest potential self so that you truly can attract in the love you most deserve. If you're a person that has been using excuses for how you show up in the world, or if you are one of those people that have done tremendous work on yourself and you're still hoping your partner will and they aren't, make sure you set up a private session with me to clear the subconscious patterning around this paradigm. You can contact me at my website at www.dianapalm.com and make sure that you check check out my free download down below in the description called Manifesting Your Soulmate, where you'll get three easy tips to help you heal your heart, raise your love vibration, and attract love. You'll also be entered into my email list, which I call the Love Tribe. You'll receive spiritual tips and ancient secrets based on the energy and vibration of love and how you really can refresh the way that you've been looking at relationships and the way that you show up in relationships. So be sure to hit that link down below in the description for the Manifesting Your Soulmate Guide. Be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to help you fall in love.